Do you blame yourself in some way? Yes, I do, and I still do. People say, you know, he's a young man, and he makes his own decisions, but it doesn't stop you still f feeling the pain of what happened. I still accept some responsibility. I feel, in a way, I failed in some way. And I have to live with that every day. There's not a mother in the audience who doesn't know exactly what you're talking about. I'm sure of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so, Edith, help us think this through. You, you have been friends. You have, you have come to know one another through your work. Talk about the organization you've created and how you think it can really make a difference in combating terrorism. Yes, but first I want to say, Vicky, you know that you have not failed. You might have failed in a certain moment in the development of, your, of the story of your son, but the very fact that you are sitting here breaking the silence, opening up, this, this is something we can't imagine what it takes, you know, to say, I am the mother of a perpetrator, but nevertheless, I am here as a warning sign. I'm reaching out to the mothers of the world to be vigilant. Yes. Look around what is going on at the home front. And this is the reason why I created SAFE, the Safe Sisterhood Network, uh, the first counterterrorism platform. Because women like Vicky, who are courageous, are isolated. They need a platform. They need to come together and uh, strategize. Security needs to be in safe hands. And security with only half the world, which is usually male, it's a very male domain. It's the last best drain of, uh, of masculinity, the whole security environment. Security, security in They're doing a great job with that, by the in way. In man's hand <laughs> is not meant to succeed. And unfortunately, we are witnesses of history to see the <laughs> failure of the security strategies. So I think here we have to step in, uh, we have to bring in women as allies of a sustainable, effective security uh, paradigm.